¿Qué tal chicos? ¿Cómo estamos? 8 de la mañana, estamos en el hotel, vamos a desayunar y luego nos vamos a ir al entrenamiento y a la rueda de prensa de, quién? de las estrellas de la NBA ¿De quién? para hacer vuestras preguntas. Hoy es vuestro día, el día de los suscriptores en el canal. Vamos a intentar hablar con todos los que podamos. Hemos hecho una selección de preguntas, tenemos como 15-20. Vamos a ver las que somos capaces de hacer. ¿Qué tenemos que deciros antes? Muy importante, sigue el código DP Drafteados, ¿eh? Deep y drafteado. Aquí lo va a poner Alberto, aquí. Ahí lo va a poner Alberto, 50% en toda la carta lo tenéis. Y hoy, además, vamos a hacer una cosa. Me ha apetecido hacerlo y ya está. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es, en vez de códigos escondidos, que es lo que hemos estado haciendo los últimos días, los códigos escondidos van a estar aquí. ¡Pum! Ya está. Las cinco primeras personas que los hayan visto y los hayan metido en la web, pizza mediana gratis para todos. Eh, por todo demás, nada. Vamos a la guerra hoy. Hoy, de verdad, si lo de ayer había gente... Hubo codazos, no fue fácil. Lo de hoy... Promete. Promete, porque hoy es el día grande. Hoy va a estar Luca Donchi, va a estar Kevin Durant, va a estar Yamoran... Jokic... A ver qué se puede hacer. Vamos a ver lo que podemos hacer. Dejadnos suerte. Ya estamos aquí, amigos. Día grande, tan grande. O sea, fíjate quién está detrás de mí. Ahí al fondo. Hay un señor que ha cambiado de equipo hace poco. ¡Ay, no le veo! que no juega mal al baloncesto y que tiene a 80.000 personas delante. Es muy difícil la vida. Hoy es un día grande, amigos, como os hemos dicho antes. Preguntas de suscriptores a estrellas de la NBA. Evidentemente, igual hacemos nosotros alguna de nuestra propia cosecha porque, joder, si tienes delante a un jugador igual te apetece preguntar algo. Pero la mayor parte de las preguntas van a ser de suscriptores ya están elegidas y vamos a ver qué se puede hacer porque esto está... O sea, el día de las uvas en Madrid, en la Puerta del Sol, hay menos gente que aquí. Esto es un escándalo. Hey Pascal, you like soccer, right? Yes, I do. Can we talk about this? Uh, which position would you be striker? Yeah. Yeah, so cool. Soccer comparison? Cristiano Ronaldo, maybe? Oh yeah, that's the best player ever. <laughs> yeah, so definitely Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not controversial, but it's okay. I feel like some people are not going to like that. If you pick one thing from Jalen's game, what would it be? I'm going to ask the same to him right now and then come back to you. If I could pick one thing, uh, his athleticism, if I could jump as high as he could, right, the way he explodes through traffic, finishes at the rim, uh, you know, asking God, give him the ability. I mean, he works hard, for sure, but... You know, not a lot of people can do that. Jalen, if you can pick one thing from Jason Tatum game, what would it be? He said your athleticism. He said my athleticism? Yeah. What uh, would you pick from, from him? JT's game? What would I like? JT got great. I, got, I mean, what is it? Um, I think JT, JT can stay calm, you know, under pressure. You know what I mean? In a sense. You'll never see JT really get too rattled. You know, I get excited sometimes. It's like always, JT's always kind of like, love, you know, so I think in moments that way I would say. When you go to the free throw line, what do you think about when you close your eyes? Uh, when I close my eyes and I breathe, it goes back to the, so I make typically make 25 in the room before I leave the gym. So I kind of go back to that last place, wherever that is for me. Uh, sometimes it's at the home gym, sometimes it's at the away gym. But just going back to where I'm. Uh, a little bit. I, will, uh, I wear 22 throughout middle school and high school. And when I got to the NBA, I mean, I got to do Jay Williams uh, wore 22 and he was retired. And uh, I asked him if I could wear it for one season. And he said no. <laughs> He later, he later, uh, I mean, we really close, and he talked about it, and he uh, he mentioned how bad he felt, and he wished that he would have let me wear it. Uh, but I, don't, I didn't hold any grudges. And uh, at the time, you know, Gilbert Arenas was one of my favorite players growing up, and uh, I, I kind of knew I was only going to be a Duke for one year, so I wanted to try something different. And, uh, you know, I picked Agent Zero, and uh, it just kind of stuck with me. Winning, uh, numbers, uh, moments, uh, availability, uh, 
you know, just how valuable are to your team, right? Um, I think that's probably what most people think of, and, you know, to some degree. Um, but, you know, for me, I think those would be uh, the main points of what I, I would look at for, you know, who's the most valuable. You know, obviously, you know, it's, it's something that you obviously, I obviously want to do in the world, for sure. Um, but I can't lie, I don't know if you've been watching what Jokic has been doing, it's <laughs> fucking outrageous. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, um, obviously, I don't know how many people won it three times in a row, but you know, I, I definitely feel like I'm in that conversation as well. But he's otherworldly right now, and, it's, and you know, he's been doing it in such a lot. Where I think, you know, you saw it with Bron a few a few years ago. Um, you know, I think Giannis, like, you get we get bored with like success. We want to change it up, but sometimes it just remains the same. I think he's a guy that's definitely up there. You look at JT, who's having a phenomenal year. Luca, having a phenomenal year. Giannis, Joel. I think Joel needs to be highly regarded as well. I think he gets highly disrespected. You know, I mean, he's a guy that consistently every night puts on for his group. Um, and even the past year, we were the whole bank situation, not knowing who's going to be on the floor, and he continues to carry his team. I think he deserves a lot of respect in the race as well. Um, but, if I had to choose, you look at the Jokic and Joel and Putin as, as a team, and I think different seven, I think those two uh, definitely deserve their respect. Esto es un hombre derrotado ahora mismo, eh? Yo no he visto una cosa igual en mi vida, tío. En mi vida. Yo creo que es como es el primero el estar post COVID sin restricciones. Aquí ha venido hasta tu prima y es una salvajada esto, tío. Sí, sí. Cosa buena. Se han ido ya los jugadores del este y tenemos preguntas de suscriptores a lo que habéis visto, Jalen Brown. Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Pascal Siakam. Eso es. Cuatro jugadores de la conferencia este. O sea, vamos bien. Y lo guapo es que todavía tenemos muchas preparadas para los de la conferencia oeste. Viene aquí Sion ahora. Aquí Domantas Sabonis, que vamos a intentar preguntarle alguna cosita. Tenemos aquí. Te estoy a vuestro siguiendo aquí. Querido amigo Sei. Tenemos aquí a nuestro querido amigo Lauri Marcade. Y ahora que vengan todos estos, vamos a intentar completar el vídeo con estos jugadores de la conferencia oeste. Vamos a ver si no me da un paro cardíaco en medio de intentar esto, porque es un escándalo, codazos. Tomás, ¿has tenido alguna vez eh, una experiencia de trash talk de otro jugador que te diga algo y que te haya venido bien, que te hayas motivado a partir de eso? Ah, no, siempre, siempre cuando uh, hablan, hablan jugadores uh, así te motiva porque o te tienen miedo o saben que eres uno de los mejores del equipo, entonces eh, quieren intentar uh, sa sacarte de tu juego. ¿Y tú empiezas a veces tras talk también? Yo nunca empiezo, yo nunca empiezo, nunca hay que empezar, ¿sabes? Yo, yo voy a jugar duro de todo, siempre, o sea, hay jugadores que necesitan hacer eso para jugar duro, pero yo, yo voy a... Tú andas en la cancha, ¿no? Sí, igual. Vamos a empezar a ver si no, 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 that's not thing about it. Really hard question, good job question. It's a really interesting question. No answer. No answer? Yeah. Yeah. How much did the Eurobasket help you? Carry you to where you are right now this season? It helped a lot, just uh, mentality-wise, getting that mindset of you're being the main guy and you're being on scouting court and kind of still try to lead the team. And then, uh, so then that helped. And then, of course, just playing basketball, competitive basketball the whole summer. So coming over here, I was in the best shape of my life. So it was just easy to hop into a training camp and uh, go right to it. So I think it helped a lot. Yes. Uh, probablemente el de contra New York Knicks, de 60 puntos. Me acaba de recordar Luca Doncic a la cara que le metió 60 puntos a los Knicks en Mason y que es su partido favorito. Acaba de pasar. Ella. Hey, Aqua, let the age to work. No. Right? Never. Would you like a one-on-one -on -one competition in the All-Star Weekend? Like no, a contest? I'm not here for that. I, you don't like it? I just want to hope. What would you say to the Spanish fans that are asking about Billy all the time and your relationship with him? <laughs> oh, me and Billy have a great, like, we have a great relationship. He's one of the most, like, pure human beings on earth, like, 
Jesus a genuinely great dude, like 24 seven, always positive. Even in moments where you feel like you think he's upset, he's still positive. Uh, he, he's a phenomenal dude to be around. That's great, man. Thank you. Say hi to your fans. Yeah, yeah to all my fans in Spain, man. I love you guys. Uh, keep supporting me. I'm gonna get better and better every day, every year. Uh, and I'm coming to see you guys this summer, so make sure you uh, welcome me with love. You're coming to Mali, all right? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, and if you have a huge fan base in Spain, can you say just hi to your fans in Spain? The Thunder and you have a huge fan base in Spain now. Can you say hi to your fans in Spain? That's it. Hi to my fans in Spain. Uh, Ahí se, ahí se, hola. 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 Yeah. Thank you, man. Hola. Bueno, chicos, eh, no sé si me notáis cansado, pero ahora mismo estamos que no sentimos ni las piernas. Ha sido la guerra durante casi, ¿qué hora es, tío? Durante dos horas y media, llevamos aquí dos horas y media peleándonos con los periodistas de todo el mundo para hacer vuestras preguntas a las estrellas de la NBA. Así que nada, esperamos que os haya molado el vídeo, hemos hecho lo que hemos podido. Queremos un poquito de todo, vuestras, nuestras, saludos a los fans en España de jugadores brutales como Anthony Edu, así como Shea. Así que nada, esperamos que lo hayáis disfrutado. Nosotros nos vamos a descansar un rato, que esto ha sido... Olvidado.